Hello, it's Ron back here with another uh, video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We cover a lot of drone and drone accessory uh, gear uh, for the for the users out there. So uh, today we have a uh, an, this is a drone video and this is an accessory video. Also, this is a um, show you the product here. This is a neck strap for the Mini Three Pro remote control. Uh, for the DJI RC and the RC Pro also. So for both the um, the current uh, smart controllers for the uh, DJI series of drones. So we're going to get right into a unboxing and install video uh, for this next strap. So we'll be right back, folks. Okay, a quick interlude before we actually go to the unboxing. I just want to give you the, uh, the pricing and availability details for this uh, product, this uh, strap here. Uh, today, uh, you can get it for $9.99 on uh, Amazon.com. Uh, and if you're a Prime member, you can get two days free shipping. So again, $9.99 today. You don't need any codes or special offers. I'll put the links down below. Uh, just you know, one click on the link takes you right to the page. Put your card, hit the buy button, and it'll be there in uh, two days if you're a Prime member. I, I don't know what happens if you're not a Prime member, but if you're not a Prime member, sign up for that too. So, okay, back to the unboxing. All right, here we showed you the front of the box here, and here's the uh, Start RC branding up there, and then the description of the product. There's some Chinese characters, and then a picture of the DJI RC and the, uh, the strap here. And it uh, looks like the box got a bit crushed up in shipping there, but not too bad. Uh, nothing breakable in here anyways and there it shows somebody using the um the lanyard and the controller in the field so um and it just you know it's a uh, drone this is product is made in china if that's any uh if that's any uh, importance to you and you can always go to www.startrc.com for more details on, on this if you want to look something up before you purchase it so okay i've already cut the plastic open here so we can make this kind of a quick and dirty unboxing here so we're gonna Pull this up here. Now it is cut open, but the, it's, it's still a little tight here, probably because it got a little crushed and shipping here. But hold my hand. trying to get through this without destroying the box. Did destroy the box there a little bit. Okay, I lose a couple points on that. So okay, here we go. We're gonna pull this out, and here's something I didn't know. It comes in a little compact uh, traveling bag there. So that that's kind of neat. I did not I did not expect that. And uh, that's it. Nothing else in the box. So. We can put the box over here, and sorry, I've got myself like a little summer cold here, so I got a little frog in the throat here, so please excuse me, um, but the show must go on here on the Rob Brown YouTube channel, so we will tough it out with this cold. Okay, so here's the bag, um, you know, it's just a generic bag here, there's no branding on it. Here's those, these little ties up here with the these little things on the end here, I don't know what you call those, but they're pretty neat. So we're going to open the bag up here, and this is kind of made of a... You know, I'm going to call it like a plasticky feeling material here. Not, not not like a leather bag, more of a kind of a waterproof plastic feeling. Now, I didn't say it's waterproof. I just said feels like it. So, okay, we're going to pull it out here. And there's, uh, let's make sure that's all in the back here. I don't think there's anything else in the bag. I'm not going to pull it away inside out, but it, um, it's all in there. So we're going to put the bag to the side right here. And then, you know, this comes wrapped in uh, more plastic here. So it's, it's very well packed if it's coming, you know, from overseas. But like I already see them pulling out here. There is the little, um, we're going to call them the little, um, I'm, I, I, I'm stuttering here. I don't know what you really call these things, but the connectors we'll call them. So, okay, that's all that's in the back. So we're going to put this over here with the trash. All right, folks. So I'm here in the in my in, in my secret test uh, area, test ground area, better known as my backyard, and I've got the Start RC neck strap on uh, for the DJI RC controller. You'll recognize this uh, controller came out with the uh, the Mini Three, and of course this strap will work with the uh, DJI uh, RC Pro controller also, which is nice. So I have one. You can see the straps. You know, all black here. Um, it's adjustable here, it has these two straps. You can have it hang further down if you want to further down, or you can bring it tighter, you know, to your chest if, if that's what you like. I have a pretty good, um, you know, 
thing right here height that I uh, I like to look at it here and then you know if I need to drop it down and maybe go pick a drone up or turn a drone off or you know put a landing pad down out in the field I got two free hands I know the controller is gonna be safe I'm not sitting it down on the car or on the on the ground even worse on the ground and dirt and the sand or a park bench where maybe somebody could come sit on and smash it or whatever so um, you know then only $9.99, it's, uh, you know, not much of an investment to, uh, you know, basically keep your controller, you know, uh, safe because you're not always one-handed it and doing something, you know, you've, you know, you, you know, we are, you, you know, it's almost like you got two hands on it all the time even when you don't have any hands. And again, the strap is, um, you know, very secure. Um, the hooks are very secure, um, you know, and I will, you know, give it the test of time. I will come back, you know, I will, you know, come back in, you know, say six months after using it. And, and tell you how it's still doing and, and more than likely I'll be back sooner if there's an issue of any kind with it where you know something's not not you know holding up over the test of time but I did want to always like to show these things how they look out in the field because in the house like you know uh, in, in a room or whatever it's just not the same as seeing it out in the field so um, you know um, so we will you know get back to the uh, regular part of the uh, the video here now so uh, Thanks for this uh, short interlude in the great outdoors here at the, at the Jersey Shore in the summer. Okay, uh, stay tuned for the next segment. So uh, right away, we're going to bring the, uh, we just happen to have a, a DJI RC uh, controller over here. So we're going to bring this over. And these these little hooks, we'll call them hooks. There you go. There's a good technical word. The hooks, uh, I guess you would screw them in the, uh, the, the screw holes here. I guess you would call them. Sorry for all the technical lingo in this video. So uh, we'll mount these in here like this. And uh, so I should play the Jeopardy music here as I'm tightening these up here. So, okay, they're, they're tight now. And whether you want to lay them flat or on the side, I don't know if it makes any difference. Um, do the uh, left one here, we're gonna get the right installed. So this is just, you know, typical here, these go in. Um, like any of these things would typically go in, I can't keep in common, they go in any easier or harder than any other ones. This one sort of, I don't like the way this one went in there so much, but there we go. So okay, there, there they're in. So we're gonna get the strap out now. And uh, okay, it looks like the strap has a nice, really soft part here. See it in the camera here. This is really cushioned over here. This is more of a, a grippy feel. You know, I never know whether these the, the grippy side is the inside or the outside because you would think this grippy one, if you had that, you know, against your neck, you'd think it wouldn't move as much. But then you also have this side here that's softer and more comfortable. So I never know which one is the proper one to have uh, you know, against your skin or shirt, you know. So, and then here looks some, some shiny parts here. It almost looks like plastic that should come off, but I think it's shiny like that in purpose. I don't think this comes off here. So, yeah, I don't know why they chose to make that shiny like that, but again, I don't think this comes off. So, yeah, I don't know why that needs to be shiny like that, but uh, that's just a fashion choice here. It doesn't impact the, um, the, the device in any case. Okay, so what you would do here now is you would, um, you know, the typical hooks on these things here, uh, just your standard garden variety hook here. So you would hook one over here and one over here. This one's a, can't, there you go. Now I got that tight. Could never get that one quite tight. There's tight. So there you go. You have this one here and, uh, you know, um, fumble for words here. You have the adjustable uh, hooks here so you can make this you know, looser or tighter, depending on how, you know, how much you want to come up, you know, how, how low you want to hang on your body, you know, while, while you're uh, flying. So, um, you know, both of them are adjustable. So I've kind of, kind of got them out of whack here, but um, there you go. It's not a whole lot to show here at the desktop part here. We did the, you know, the, the unboxing, you know, see what you get in the box, the installation. And, uh, you know, this is a very, fairly um, uncomplicated uh, setup here. I do like the fact that you got that case because, um, you know, the downside of something like this is with these screwing things here, this will probably prevent you from putting it in your uh, case, uh, whether it be the, uh, the DJI case. Well, you know, you may be able to 
keep that on inside the DJI soft case. But if you're using a hard case, you may have to remove those um, to put them in your hard case unless, you know, you would cut the foam uh, to get them out. So that would be the doubt of using a hard case. If you're using a soft case, it probably doesn't matter. You just set the, you know, the controller in, however you put it in, the hard case. So, you know, I mean, the soft case that comes with the fly market kit. So, uh, yeah. And, of course, you you know, you would just remove these when you put in the case. And uh, it may be room to fit this in the uh, the DJI soft case uh, if you maybe sacrifice something else. Otherwise, you may have to keep that... Um, you know, let's, let's take it off. Let's take it apart one more time, or take it off, take it apart, take it off, and see how. I forget how it uh, compacted. Uh, you know, fold it up before. Let's see this. How this? How compact you can get this thing with folding it up here. Um, you know, it, it does fold up pretty compact. You may be able to stuff it in a soft case. Um, without sacrificing, you know, your batteries or something like that. But maybe, maybe not. It could be awfully tight. It would be too tight to put it on the pockets of the of the soft case for the uh, Mini 3 Pro. So I, 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 don't, I think I forgot to mention this. This is a control. First became an option to use with the uh, the Mini 3 Pro drone, which just got released uh, earlier this uh, summer, actually late spring, actually. And uh, this controller also now works with the uh, Mavic, the Mavic 3, and we're hoping it works with the Air 2S soon. But more details of that in the near future. I, I hope to have some 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 details of that for you in, in the near future. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to um, you know subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed up, and uh, hit the bell notification uh, button. And um, you know like this video if you got anything out of it. Again, just a reminder. Um, this is $9.99. I mean, the strap, the strap and the little hooks and the bag, the kit is available for $9.99 on um, Amazon.com. I will put a link down below and please consider using my link uh, to purchase it because I do get a small commission from everything I sell. I mean, I'm getting really small and something's $9.99, but every penny counts. Remember, if you use my link to get into Amazon to purchase it, if you decide to purchase something else, you know, while you're in there, uh, you know, uh, whatever else you do purchase on there, um, you know, a new drone, a, a new camera, uh, uh, some dog food, you know, I, I will get commission off the whole purchase and not just off the uh, controller if you use my link to actually get in and start the purchase, if that makes any sense to you at all. So, um, yeah, I mean, these neck straps are a great accessory. Um, you know, especially for these controllers. I mean, this one's not too heavy. Uh, I mean, the RC Pro is a lot heavier than this one, which this also works with. The the holes are in the same spot. But it's still nice to have this around your neck because you got a free hand um, at that point. You, you know, you don't have to worry about dropping the controller, especially if you're standing on a surface like blacktop or cement where it could fall and damage the screen. Now, I also have a, I've done a review on a screen protector that's on here right now. And, um, you know, you, uh, I'll put a link to that video in here where you can go watch the screen protector video. But that's also very affordable, too. So watch my review on that. Um, you know, it's another, you know, nice accessory to help keep your, uh, you know, smart controller safe. Again, along with that and the neck strap so you don't drop it. And, again, it just, it, when I'm in the field, it just frees me up that I still have two free hands. I don't have to do, I don't have to be one arm banded and, always have this clutched in one hand where I'm doing the other hand, like putting the drone down, turn it on, try to insert a battery, um, maybe start a B-roll camera up if you're making a drone video. So, okay. Well, you know, I hope, again, uh, you know, I've already said all the all the usual stuff to say in the video, so I'm just going to say that um, that's it. Um, you know, uh, get out there, you know, enjoy. If you got... If you got this control, obviously watch this video, you probably got this control, you probably got the Mini 3. So get out there and fly that drone. It's a great little drone. This is a great little controller. Love the screen, the 700 nits, the way it doesn't go dark like your phone does when you're out there in the field of flying. So, okay, folks, uh, get out there, uh, uh, fly a drone, and we will see you on the next video.